I'm going to show you a few exercises to help you relax and lengthen your pelvic floor. First, you're going to start with breathing. Imagine the bottom of your rib cage opening up like an umbrella and closing like an umbrella as you inhale and exhale so that you get 360 degree expansion of your rib cage. Another thing that can be helpful is to extend your exhale. So if you inhale for about three to four seconds, exhale for about seven seconds. That will help stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the part of the nervous system responsible for rest and relaxation. Now we're going to move into child's pose, which is a really great pose for decreasing tightness in the pelvic floor region, the hips, and the low back. Now while you're in this pose, you can also incorporate that nice deep breathing with a longer exhale. So you'll separate knees and then sit back onto the heels and stretching arms forward. You can also get a nice stretch through the side if you angle your arms off to one side and the other. Now you wanna hold each stretch about 30 seconds and I would do two in each position. Next, we're going to work on internal rotation of the hips. This can be an often overlooked movement, but it's important because this is where we can also get some great lengthening through the pelvic floor because pelvic floor muscles do attach to the hips. So we wanna make sure we have good mobility there. So first you'll start off hands and knees with a neutral spine position where you're not arched too much and you're not rounded out too much, just right in the middle there. And then see how much movement you have of the hips. You're going to separate the ankles and move both out to the side. You may find that one hip moves better than the other. So you can work on that motion for about 10 repetitions and then stay in that position and slowly rock back towards the heels and come up. So you should feel some nice stretching through the hips there. If rocking back is too difficult, then stick with the in and out of the feet. Next, we're going to stretch the muscles on the inner thigh. These muscles are also important to stretch because they do attach up at the pubic bone and they can contribute to tension in the pelvic floor as well. So to do this, you're going to lean forward and bring one leg out to the side and then rock backward to feel a nice stretch through that inner thigh. You can also slide arms forward for more of a stretch. And you'll wanna do this both sides. And again, holding about 30 seconds and doing two of them. And for our last stretch, we're going to stretch the back part of the hip. So you'll lay back, cross one leg over the other. And if you can, you're going to grab onto the bent knee and pull up towards your chest to feel a nice stretch through here. Holding 30 seconds and doing two on each side. 
So please share this information with others because I know there are most likely people in your life that are struggling with some issues related to having too much tension in the pelvic floor. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, april at pelvicbalance.com. Thank you and have a great day.